let's talk a bit about what last week was like. Moving on, uh, what did the PL look like at the end of the week? Look, it was a it was a very difficult week. I mean, Trafficker has got a big presence in uh, in Texas. We have about two hundred people in Houston and uh, and Midland, which are our main offices there. It was not a good week for our people. Not a good week for the people of Texas. Not a good week for the people in the in the south of uh, in the south of the U.S. You know, it's better this week. The weather has improved, which uh, which obviously helps a lot. But I haven't seen too many weeks, even though we've been through many hurricanes in this part of the world. I haven't seen too many weeks with the amount of pictures and phone calls from our employees and their friends and families showing just how difficult it was. So impactful week on the markets, but most impactful for the people of uh, for the people of Texas. Um, how is it impactful for Trafagura sort of on the bottom line? I mean, the end of March is the end of your first half of 2021. So you've got to have some good color uh, on what your PL is going to look like. Look, our PL is going along fine. We've got some volatility, which uh, helps a company like us uh, deal with this. The main focus, to be honest, at the moment is keeping our customers supply, keeping our operations going. Um, the focus is not so much on the PL. That, that will take care of itself over time. But we've had a huge disruption to our operations in the U.S. Um, we are the biggest exporter of U.S. crude oil. We're touching more than 10 percent of every barrel that gets touched in the Permian. Our people had sleepless nights this week, and, and, and more than one, many of them. In fact, our operations people up throughout the night servicing our customers. I'm happy that the weather's getting warmer because it, it makes it better for our people. But the impact of the markets uh, remains huge. And I think the market is probably underestimating just uh, how much this market has been hit. So what is the legacy? What is the tail? How long does the effect last for? Okay, it's a pretty immediate impact. I think something like 40 million barrels of crude oil out of the US, most of which will come out of the Permian, will not be produced that otherwise would have been produced in the month of February. What people forget is you then had refineries that were heavily impacted as well. A number close to that 40 million barrels will be of products that will not be produced across the period of time they should have. So you're going to see the statistics or the stats in the U.S. for both products and crude draw hard in the coming weeks uh, mm -hmm. with, with lower numbers than we otherwise would have expected. I think you're going to have to discount whatever the stats say this week. It's going to be almost impossible to have counted accurately what happened last week. I suspect, though, over the next two or three weeks, you see big draws in the U.S., which in, in all likelihood firms the market up and sets us up for a summer where hopefully we're all getting out of lockdown. I had heard you talking uh, or heard Boris Johnson talking before this and, and easing a little bit mm -hmm. on the U.K., but we're, we're certainly very bullish, uh, most of the world, in getting out of lockdowns for summer. So this market has been given an impetus by the events in, uh, in Texas. Uh, hey, Ben, how have you noticed any sort of change in crude or product flows because of Texas, i.e. products going to the East Coast, for example, et cetera? Yeah, it's more qualities because a lot of the barrels that have come out of this market are sweet. A lot of the refineries need sour. So there is some natural arbitrages around the world that move. But this happens quite a lot. Um, what I think is meaningful is... We're a little bit worried about the way that we get back out of this. I, I saw some stats from our team in Houston this morning saying that, at the worst, we were down 5 million barrels a day of predominantly sweet crude in the U.S. 3 million of that has come back already. We expect another million barrels a day to come back on this week. A worrying comment I saw it as a footnote was, there's a belief that the last 5 percent that has come off may never come back because we've seen some damage mm. to wells. And as the crews are getting back out there, and that's a slow process in itself, they're finding not a perfect situation. And, and these are some, some of these wells are wells that will never operate the same way they were meant to have uh, or expected to have even 10 days ago. So it's a concern.